Welcome, everybody. My name is Scott Conklin. I'm the Director of Admissions, and we are here with our Ultimate Frisbee uh, coaches, Lionel Roth and, and Julie Park, and Ultimate Athlete, Robert Katz. And so we're excited to learn more about the opportunities with our Ultimate team. Um, and with that, I'm going to kick it over to, to Coach Roth and, and Coach Park and, and Robert to introduce themselves. All right. Thanks very much, Scott. Um, yeah, my name is Lionel Roth. I'm a, a head coach of Ultimate Frisbee here at EHS. We're in our third season, um, and I am a math teacher here. This is my eighth year at Episcopal. I also coach the boys' junior soccer team in the fall, uh, in addition to Ultimate in the spring, and I'm a member of the McGuire dorm team, um, an advisor, all of those, those many hats that we're used to wearing here at Episcopal. Um, coach Park. Yeah, my name is Coach Park. Um, I am the assistant coach for the Ultimate Frisbee team. It's my first year here at Episcopal, um, and I'm loving every second of it. I'm also a math teacher with Coach Lionel, um, so teaching geometry and pre-calculus this year. And I also um, am a dorm parent at the Harrison dorm. As Mr. Conklin said, uh, I'm Robert Katz. I'm a junior here, um, and it is my second year. Uh, I live on Berkeley, and uh, I'm involved in, and trying to push forward currently uh, a, a kind of green energy club. And uh, I'm this is my third year doing Ultimate, and I'm uh, loving it. So. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Coach Roth and, and Coach Park, can you kind of talk about some of the the main parts of the ultimate team and, and some of the highlights? Sure, yeah. Um, so as I mentioned, we're only in our third season here. Um, I, I have a couple, several years of experience with coaching ultimate, um, having coached previously at, at St. Stephen's, uh, a couple years as an assistant and one year as the head coach of their program before we finally got ultimate off the ground here at EHS. Um, and so we've, we've only had actually one full season uh, two years ago in the spring. Um, and then of course, last spring was, was cut short. And this year, well, we're not exactly sure what this year is gonna look like once we get to the spring, um, but ultimate is a co-ed team. Um, so far it's been majority boys, but we have a, a good number of girls, a strong representation among the girls uh, every year so far. We have students, um, there's no distinction currently between the varsity and the JV level. We just all practice together as one. Um, this year so far, we have 17 on the roster for the in-person fall sports, although we're expecting that to grow in the spring when a few of our international players um, return to campus uh, and we're not splitting sports with, with some of the winter activities right now. Um, in our first season, our only complete season, we uh, finished three and three in the Virginia Fairfax Ultimate League. So, you know, we've got we've got room to grow, but we got off to a very strong start, I'd say, to our, our first year as a program. Do you want to show some of the, the photos, Coach, of the... And yes, I'd, I'd love to show some of these photos here. Um, so yeah, here's my contact information. If anyone would like to get in touch with me, we can see a few of our, our athletes from former years. I think this is the back of Bobby Zahorsky's head. And, uh, these are some some highlights from the uh, the student faculty game that we had at the, the conclusion of our first season. Um, we can see some of our some of our illustrious current players like uh, Yo Yo here in the top left, currently in Shanghai, but hopefully coming back to play with us in the spring. We can see a few graduated seniors like. Uh, former captain um, Gilbert over here on the left, uh, as well as uh, Barrett Carney, uh, another captain, AKA Carney B, um, both both uh, integral members of the team in our, our first season. Uh, these are a few highlights from one of our games in the, the Virginia Fairfax Ultimate um, League. We play these games uh, at Lake Fairfax in Reston, Virginia, um, and we were very excited to return to this league, plus have a bunch of out of conference games last spring. Um, we had uh, well over, we had like between 10 and 15 games on the schedule. Of course, those uh, never, never happened, but we're excited to, to get those set up again um, in the future. And here we can see just some of the facilities um, that we use. Um, we have, uh, as if you've watched 
this um, interview for our sports, you know about some of our, our indoor gym. Um, we will often use this like once or twice a week, uh, send the athletes to do a little bit of conditioning, a little bit of uh, individual work in the weight room. Um, although most of our practices, it kind of varies depending on availability. Sometimes we're on the, the beautiful front drive. Sometimes uh, we're on the turf field. There's uh, a lot of different fields that we have available here at EHS, and we've, we've used many of them. There's also a brand new uh, disc course that our disc golf course or frolf course that was just put in uh, this fall. And we've been able to to use that and uh, sort of work on some of our, our distance throws and our putts um, using that uh, this year as well. And here's just kind of an, an overview of um, Episcopal and uh, this field in the center of the screen here um, is where Greenway, where we are practicing so far this fall. Although to be determined where we are going to be uh, when play resumes in the spring. And I think that's about it. Uh, about it, Mr. Coppin. Well done, coach. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Frisbees flying around campus this fall. Um, that, that Frisbee golf course is really getting used a lot, which is great. Uh, coach Park is, is a newcomer kind of uh, coach of the program. Any observations or impressions of kind of working with our, our ultimate kids and team? Um, I think it's very similar to other Frisbee teams that I've been coaching or playing with. It's a mix of all different levels, mostly beginners because Frisbee is just a, uh, a new sport to so many people. Um, and then we have a few sprinkled in veterans that come with a little bit more experience with their throws. So it's a good balance for, um, for both types of um, student athletes. But it's really fun. Um, people or the students seem to enjoy it. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun with the scrimmages. So. Awesome. Speaking of, of the students and the athletes, Robert, can you talk a little bit about your experience uh, in, in year two? I, I guess you didn't quite get to experience a, a full uh, ultimate season uh, last spring, but just what can you say about being a, a member of the, the ultimate team? Yeah, I I think the, the way ultimate functions is you have a lot of veteran players, or at least a few veteran players, and then a lot of newcomers who maybe haven't played as many sports in the past, or who have, but haven't played ultimate. And so the veterans kind of help uh, assist and f facilitate practices, and uh, that means the rate of improvement for a lot of the newer players is, is pretty dramatic. And I think we saw that again this year. We got uh, much better by by the end of our, our four or so weeks. Um, and in doing so, I think uh, there's a, a great bond formed between a lot of the older players and a lot of the younger players who are coming in. Um, and I think it, it makes a team very close. I think that's great. Thanks, Robert. Um, and another question for Robert, can you talk a little bit about the, the relationship that you have with your your coaches and uh, I, I know that's a unique thing that happens at a boarding school where they're they're not just coaching you out on the field but um sometimes those relationships really extend beyond the athletic field but can you talk about how your your coaches support you and uh, as a student athlete at episcopal yeah for sure um so the relationship between between uh, coaches and, and players is, I think, generally at, at most normal schools might might just kind of end at the field. But um, often if you're feeling down or having trouble, even in classes, um, because many of our coaches are, coaches are teachers, you can ask them for maybe assistance. So maybe if I had a, had a math question, I could go to either of my coaches, um, which which is is really helpful in both academics. And then also if you're just having problems, maybe you're experiencing some difficulties because I think many of us were uh, over this pandemic. Um, I think there's been an upturn in, in mental problems for some people, but you can reach out to them and it's a, it's a great resource. Right. Thanks, Robert. Um, Co Coach Park and, and Coach Roth, can you talk a little bit about the, the practices, what those look like, um, what time they take place, how long they last and, and kind of what a, a typical practice would look like. Sure. Yeah. Um, thanks, Scott. Uh, so our, our practices don't look 
too different from probably what you would expect from from most varsity sports um, in the boarding school world. We meet uh, after class in the afternoons uh, around 3, 3.30, depending on the, the day. Um, practice usually runs for anywhere between one to two hours, again, sort of depending on, on what the schedule um, looks like at that time of year. Um, but it's uh, everything that you would expect in, in a normal sport. You know, we have a mixture of conditioning. There's a lot of drills uh, because, Rob mentioned, we, we have so many new players. Most people uh, who come to Ultimate in high school don't have a lot of prior experience with it, which is why we're, we're really lucky to have people like Rob who, who've already played um, at their previous school. Um, so there's a heavy emphasis on, on drills and especially just those, those basic skills of, of throwing, catching. Um, this year, we've been able to get a little creative uh, with some of our, our online practices. Uh, and we've been doing using that time to sort of do a little bit of like uh, chalk talks and, and using videos other instructional tools to, to talk about positioning, to talk about um, plays and, and uh, more of the, the X's and O's of Ultimate Frisbee, which sometimes people are surprised to hear that, uh, that this is a part of the game, but it, it very much is. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say our practice just looks, if you've ever witnessed a, a normal soccer practice or lacrosse practice, it's not too different from that. Um, we've got conditioning, we've got our drills, we've got uh, small sided games or little competitive drills, and, and we usually end up uh, scrimmaging a little bit towards the end of practice. Coach, you talked about the league a little bit, and can you shed a little bit more light on, on some of the teams you play? And um, it, it sounds like you, know, you had a six game season in that first year, and, and what do you envision kind of over the next few years with that? Are there, are there more teams kind of coming into the league and um, more games or uh, just, yeah, if you could touch on the league a little bit. Yeah, thanks. Um, so that's something that I was really excited about uh, at the beginning of last season. And, uh, you know, the, the North Virginia it has a really, really strong ultimate culture. Um, there's a lot of different leagues throughout Northern Virginia, D.C. and Maryland. Um, I'd say that there's a growing number of teams with uh, some of the other boarding and private schools in this area. I mean, Rob came to us from Sidwell, um, so obviously he played on a team there. Um, I know that the, the Arlington League uh, is really strong and they have some, some teams there that will actually compete at the, at the national level, um, high school players. The league that we were in, the, the uh, Fairfax Ultimate League, um, which is sort of like west of the Northern Virginia area, was definitely, um, it was two tiered, broken up into an A tier and a B tier. As it was our first season, um, and we had a, a relatively small number of players with almost no experience. This was before Rob was with us. Um, we were part of that that B team, um, and you know, finished finished right in the middle of the pack. Um, but uh, definitely, the, my plan is to to try to grow this program. I'm hoping eventually that we'll have enough players that we can separate into sort of an an A team playing in that top division and, and maybe a B team for the, the younger, still developing players. Um, the, the, as I mentioned, we play uh, co-ed, as did almost all the other teams that we faced. Um, and if the sport continues to grow, you know, I, I'd love someday if we could split, uh, if we could have the, the option for, for single sex, um, maybe a, a men's team and a women's team. Um, Although there, there are reasons to keep it co-ed as well, and, and I really like love that aspect of the sport, and I think it, it provides something unique that can be hard to find uh, in, in high school and, frankly, after high school as well. Um, so, yeah, very excited about the, the growth of Ultimate in this area, and um, as, as more teams around us, uh, you know, St. Stephen's, some of the boarding schools in D.C. and Maryland um, start to, to uh, make teams, I'm, I'm looking forward to reaching out to them and trying to set up scrimmages and Someday, you know, maybe uh, having a, an actual um, league within the, the IAC, which would be, that's the dream. It's exciting. I, I've got one last question for Rob and then uh, Coach Park and, and Coach Roth. Any closing comments that you wanted to add? But um, Rob, can, any advice that you would have for a prospective student looking to, to play ultimate uh, at Episcopal? Yeah. Um... So I think one one thing that's that's great about ultimate is it's it's one of those sports where you can just say like hey to a friend do you want to come throw with me on, on the field and there's a great deal of fields at Episcopal um, and a lot of space to throw 
and it, it's a it's it's good fun and it, it's a great way to meet new people um, because a lot of people um, can get enjoyment out of out of throwing a, a frisbee. And then another thing is, I think um, if you are a new student um, doing a sport, not just ultimate, but I think ultimate is is particularly good in this aspect. is a, a great way to meet new people. Um, and I think ultimate is is kind of unique in that it's co-ed and that there's there isn't it's not super split in that you have a lot of older people with a lot of uh, newer people. Um, so it's a good way to kind of reach across those two boundaries that you often find in other sports and and create a, a, a social life at, at Episcopal. Great. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Coach, is any closing thoughts or comments? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just uh, try to reinforce everything that Rob said. Um, we we try to run the program with sort of a, a family atmosphere, and um, there's a, a sort of healthy sense of equality, I think, on the team. Um, even though we're we're trying to grow the program and, and get more serious, um, I, I love that we have like this this small core of students right now. Um, everyone's sort of on the same level. Uh, it, it helps that almost everybody has has no experience. Um, and the thing that I think is is so cool and exciting about Ultimate uh, at, at this point is, you know, a lot of sports, if you're interested in being a, a college basketball player, um, you, you have to have started in most cases uh, well before you arrive in high school. And I think Ultimate is, if you're someone who's, who's serious about being a, a lifelong athlete, um, you have that opportunity, you know, to, to pick it up in high school and maybe someday compete at the national level at your college. Um, but it's also uh, there's there's this spirit of the game. We talk about spirit of the game. I'm sure Coach Park is going to mention this. Um, and ultimate is a very just kind of uh, inviting um, sport where people who play it they're they're always excited to have new people. Um, they, they they try to play uh, in a way that that is fun and that's um, you know accessible to everyone. And um, we we try to keep that spirit alive, sort of in, in how we run the program here uh, at Episcopal. Yeah, Coach, uh, Coach Ralph definitely stole the spirit of the game aspect of Frisbee. But, but I totally agree. Um, that makes you that makes Ultimate just so much more unique than other sports that I play growing up. Um, Frisbee is all about, you know, even if you're uh, competing with your rival team um, after the game, you're in a spirit huddle or you're talking to them one on one saying like, you did a great job at that one point and giving each other feedback, uh, which is very different than other sports that I've been playing and coaching. So um, definitely everyone is welcome to try it out or um, toss a disc, right, with a friend, which is super inviting and just like welcoming, I think, into the community. Great, thanks everybody. It's it's really awesome to hear about kind of the fat family atmosphere that, that you all create uh, with, with a team and so if you are a prospective student out there uh, considering ultimate uh, at Episcopal High School, I'd certainly encourage you to reach out to, to Coach Roth um, and he put up his contact information and he can put you in touch with Coach Park or Rob if, if you have any questions for, for Coach Park or, or Rob as, as from the player perspective. But we hope, uh, we hope you apply to Episcopal and hope to see you out there on the ultimate field uh, next year. So thanks for joining us today.